Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, y'all, to this semi-live version uh, in the mental house. Um, it is very, very, with me, your host, of course, Khadija. First of all, I want to say, hey, thanks, y'all, for joining me on this semi-live stream. And the reason why I say semi-live stream, because I'm going to be in and out of the comment section. Section, I'm sorry. So you know I'm here with you. But because there is, um, um, I got a couple people coming to uh, do business with me. Um, I got to be moving around. I can't just be stationary. But this is so uh, serious that I got to, um, I got to make a comment about it. And I got to see what y'all think because I guess you see now what the native of this land what we said when we first came and we started dealing with the European, um, the the Native Americans said a white man speak with forked tongue. And so I want all of y'all to understand this, whether you white or whether you black, it doesn't really matter. This is the history of how the indigenous people see you. And so I know there's a lot of cognitive dissonance going on. That's why those people stormed the White House in the first place, because they can't handle the browning of America, in my opinion. In my opinion, it's very difficult for you to think that your reality is going to change as you know it. And so you're just going crazy. You can't take it. That's why they were saying craziness, like the Jews will not replace us when they were when those rioters were in Charlotte. So I'm here to let you know right now across the country is at a real, real serious crossroads. A crossroad that is so devastating that a lot of y'all, uh, because the society has been uh, dummy down so much and you can only get a certain amount of history when y'all... Um, you know, thank God for the internet where you can go internet, where you can go and research these things without just running into the library like I had to do coming up. But one thing you fail into look at is the behavior of the common white man during periods like this. And so I didn't make this history up. I didn't make the history up where uh, in the same kind of crazed white men that you saw crash in the White House is the same kind that would just run the streets and grab arbitrary black people, put nooses around their necks and hang them. The same, and they would do it after church on a day like today, Sunday. And then sit there and sing, Amazing Grace, how sweet. The sound, I mean, these people, um, the worst of them is totally psychotic. Okay. Now, with that being said, that, that does not mean that there are other variations of that same psychopathic mindset in the black uh, mindset, in the black phenotype. Okay. Because we all mixed up now. So now what you're dealing with, we're dealing with um, the same kind of energy that Jim Jones had. Y'all got to understand how powerful this shit is because I lived through Jim Jones. I remember seeing him and saying, my brother saying to me, actually, he said, don't you think it's kind of strange that this guy this is the first time Jim Jones was let into the temple? And I keep reiterating this because. It's the same energy. Um, and I felt it. I see it. I've lived through it, y'all. A lot of y'all ain't lived through it. Some crazy stuff, but there's a lot of us who have. And we just trying to bridge the, gra the, the gap and say we can't go about it the same way we went about it before because these people are diabolical. What you see now is that same energy taken back over because they're not original. Okay, there's nothing original about uh, the European. 
Everything he does is a copy off of the individuals that were there before him. No disrespect. This is just what it is. If you look at all the inventions that were stolen during slavery time, those are things that we invented that y'all stole and got credit for. So as far as we're concerned, we don't have nothing to prove. It's a waste of our time to eradicate, try to eradicate racism. What it is incumbent upon us to do as black people is to tell other black people, you better get your shit together. Can't you see what's coming down the side of the pipe? These people now are going to have, they, they've already, they've been given the green light. Donald Trump didn't start this stuff. There's been an underlying uh, 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 racist uh, delusion of freedom illusion of freedom since the mass of, uh since um the uh, uh declaration of proclamation was signed right how can you sit up there and say we hold these truths to be self evident that all men are created equal and your ass got slaves and you can ain't go home and sleep with them and work their asses to death it makes no sense it's psychotic and so if you don't want to deal with the psychosis of America, the hotbed of madness, um, and that for the European, he can't do nothing but divide and conquer. That's what his whole aura is. You know, there's certain tendencies that, you know, I contend that, like the Quran said, that God, and they know, I, listen, don't, I'm not, don't put me as, Oh, a religious fanatic or whatever. No, but I agree and I, I'm at peace with the, some of the scriptures. Okay. And understand the definition and what they were for. They were roadmaps. Oh, uh, the Bible, some people say, says stands for some, uh, I mean, basic instructions before leaving earth. Okay. So there's some good things in the Bible. That don't mean you got to be, you know, a fanatic and see all the dogma that the devil has put into that book. But you can't deny the ancient scriptures, right? Don't do that. Don't do that. Because these people learned and they study, just like if you learn and study, you'll find favor as well. If you learn and study and practice music, you'll become proficient in being a music. Michael Jackson. Was the greatest one of the, the greatest entertainer. I, it's a toss up between him and Sammy Davis, but because they studied to show themselves worthy. If you don't study like that, something don't think that you know it like that, because there is a certain amount of study in that that is required. So I'm saying I'm not. I don't have a problem with scripture at all. And what I do know is I believe that there's certain tendencies in all of us as a group, okay? Uh, coming from the, the, the original person. But my hue is, is messed up because, of course, you can look at my freckles and see that the Irish man has been in my my great grandfather is is a white man, okay. So I you know, <laughs> duh. Now we're all mixed up over here, right? But what we got to understand, and which is very important, is that there was a time that these people. Um, that didn't, there was always the John Browns and the, uh, uh, people that understood the Quakers or certain that, that knew that this was wrong. What was happening on the earth? And I mean, it's during this slavery period of the United States. Don't think that all white people wanted to deal with that. They, they knew it. They was looking at their husbands knowing that man's going down having sex with the uh, black women and with these mulatto babies and stuff. They they knew and then reading the Bible and they had to convince themselves, right? 
cut. So that makes a lot of us just reject that book. But I'm here to say this, and I know I'm going around a little bit to get it home. I'm trying to bring it to this point. I believe that God might have found favor with us as long as it has. Because, listen, we're a fairly, fairly new country. We ain't even about 500 years old. And we didn't raise hell. We didn't kicked up so much dirt in that time. Right? Okay, look, these other civilizations are thousands and thousands of years old. Okay. So I do believe that God made us into different families that we may get to know each other. But we all, but we, but that the, the, the life started with the black. I'm the Eve of the planet. All nations come out of me. The more you, the, the, the black woman, the Eve, um. Uh, 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 is the first well a female Lucy is what they call her, right? And out of those wounds became people because we were nomads. We were uh, people that kept moving like life does: branch out, branch out, branch out, branch out, branch out, branch out. Okay, get into a colder climate. You get in them caves and whatever. Now you become a different species than what left that equator, right? But you still have a um, an overtone of that in you. And this is my opinion, my warp science. But now you, when you made it with that Neanderthal, whoa, because there's no Neanderthal blood in, in Africa. In the African, it is in the white man. And I think that's what makes you a little off. In my opinion, and there's certain characteristics, like you see the indigenous people, we love to dance. We love, we're sun driven people, we earth driven. It, you know, I look at the little kids in Africa and I'm like, look at them in Akiba lot. Look at these babies. They just dancing, dancing. They're happy. You know, there's oppression all around them and stuff, you know. Um, they're dancing. The native. Um, the closer you are to that uh, beginning, the more um, freer you are. So you see a lot of those little babies dancing. And, and that when you look at us over here, these Africans in America, same thing. And that's what we've given to all of them. We've shared that, our beauty with the world, right? And we've been taken advantage of. We've been, you know, raped, robbed, um, pillaged from because of those gifts. At the same time, to some, they see it as a curse because of their inability to work that magic. Okay? So then you get to a situation where you need, you bring these people up. You need slavery of some sort, whether it's physical, mental, emotional. You need it in order to keep this country afloat. This is the world we've created by not addressing, being for real about trying to eradicate this craziness. This country is not, it can't sustain itself like this. It can't. And you see it coming. It's on the horizon. Okay, y'all. I'm. I want y'all to tell me how you feel about. It. Do you feel that we on the cusp of something uh, real, real scary? And for our ancestors who's gone, gone on. They will guide us through that. Okay? But we have to do our part. We have to do our part. That's why I'm talking right now is because we are in a, such a freaking messed up state as black Africans or in America that we bought into the the fame game, the money game, 
and we think it's not going to change. But COVID is showing a lot of these so-called celebrities that it can and it will. Because it's all an illusion. The thing is, what are you slaves going to do to realize that you are captive and that it's, it's hard for some of us to get along because we all from different tribes. Okay? I get it. But all over here, they done made us one tribe. The ones that the, the black and brown bodies to soak and fuel this madness. What are we going to do collectively by either showing up together start dealing with this uh, 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 subculture we got in our communities that's running around that have been beaten down so much by self-hatred that they are destroying themselves and us with them? What are we going to do about this element? Because, again, as you see that first with Mitch McConnell, just to sit there and lie to you in your face, Turn around and do some different. The white man speak with forked tongue. That's who he is. So a lot of us don't believe nothing that they say. And a lot of people get angry. They say, oh, you just, you just from the old school, you just, no, 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 no. no. There's an elite group of Europeans out here that want that will do anything at all costs to remain in power and to keep their foot on the necks of other people that want to be free. Just like uh, Chavez. You know, all that grew up out of America, that hatred for black and brown people. What y'all think? Let's talk about this. Because it is this and us and our inability to uh, deal with some of the stuff that we got cognitive issues about, cognitive dissonance issues about. Like with black people, we always want to come to the rescue of another black person right, right away and make an excuse for them too. Or we have to admit that because we have been beaten so much and beaten and abused so much that we have become, we have become violent to um, earth amongst ourselves because we're not doing it to nobody else. You know, the anger that's in us, rightfully so. But now anger, when it's out of control, it just kills the person that's holding it. And that's what it's doing to us. Because we got every right to be angry. You know? You know, and I hear a lot of people, and I'm going to say this. I hear a lot of people saying that, um, a lot of YouTube creators and, and things saying that, oh, Black people, y'all ain't got, we don't got nothing to do with this and blah, 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 blah. Don't be stupid. We live in America. We got everything to do with this. Okay. Um, so do you want to participate in the world or do you want to just sit back and be an observer to everything? That's, that makes no sense. Because what I'm saying is, no, there's no, there, yes, I'm still saying Donald Trump had to get, get out of office. Yes, I am saying that we had to get, him out of having that platform where he can constantly, constantly, constantly throw his mental illness off on the rest of the society. Now, if you was fine with that, then that means you got some anxiety issues of your own. But most people that want to be sane and rational, they don't want to hear that craziness every damn day. They run for cover to get some peace. And so Donald Trump, being a leader of the free world, didn't have enough sense not to get on Twitter and tweet crazy shit, um, which was totally sick. Um, and 
he brought out the worst in America. He brought out the worst in the people that were in America, that are in America, that have that same ideology. But he's the perfect person for it because his father was a Nazi. So his father instilled all that hatred in him. Under the disguise of, well, whatever, we're good businessmen, you know, and that's what America loves. Money is America's God. Money is not necessarily the gods of black people. Never have been. But now we're taking on that same phenotype. Emotional phenotype. Spiritual phenotype as our oppressor. Donald Trump was perfect for this time, just like you are perfect for this time. Thing is, what you gonna do with it? What are you gonna do? Are you going to um, allow this um, entity to take us back? To 18, uh, what is it, 61 or something? Is it going to take us back? Or are you going to continue to work towards a more perfect union? A more perfect union. Those are our choices. So now, I'm hoping it's a few of y'all in the comment. There's going to be a few of us in the comment section because that's what I really wanted to talk about. And I wanted to get this out today. And I want to um, uh, uh, do it where I can respond to you and come inside the chat room or however this works. And so I want to start getting involved with doing a little bit more live streams. So let's just start it off with this one, okay? So I look forward to hearing y'all comments and um, also commenting along with you regarding um, the acquittal of Donald Trump and some of the other things that I discussed. Um, let's talk about it, okay? So I'll see you on the side, family. And uh, let's, let's, let's have a conversation.